Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Hezra. Right now, we're about to be doing a Sign Aid and Happiness compilation a reaction video. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video, it was about me reacting to Cartoon Beatbox Battle, Patrick vs. Goofy, and also Pennywise vs. Joker. If you haven't seen that, please go check it out. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe because if we reach 100 subscribers, I'll make my TikTok compilation videos. So, yep, so you can see how cringy my TikToks are. And, um, also, uh, yeah, so that's all I have to say, so I'm gonna be talking, let's get on with the video. Dang, that bird is buff, bro. He's even afraid of the bird. Oh. Oh, you don't even, you don't need a cane at all? Okay, what's this one? And for her remains, oh. I like to have them scattered by Old Trout Lake, where we always used to go fishing. Oh, uh, she's dead. All her right, life? so you want her cremated then? Nope. Huh? Oh. <laughs> what the heck? That's this. Wow. Oh, it's a princess. My lady? Mm, she's royal royalty. My lady. Can you just walk over it? Oh. Gentlemen, we need more coats! Coats. <laughs> How royalty? How much ro royalty is she? Dang. Oh, they all have a crush on her. Oh, and she likes girls. Oh, friend zone again. <laughs> she's not even that hot anyway. <laughs> Unbelievable. They had a crush on her, but she likes girls. <laughs> Who is Mothman? Good evening, Citytropolis. I'm Chip Chapley. And in this special segment, we investigate the local legend that is Mothman. But how much do we really know about him? Let's explore the myth behind the moth. Who is Mothman? Tonight I sit down with billionaire entomologist Morton Mothson to get a rich person's perspective. So is it you? <laughs> Preposterous, really. I, I haven't the faintest why people are associating even has me a moth badge with this on him. Mothman character. It's, Dude, you have it's a moth on your, on your What about rope? the mysterious cavern beneath your estate? What, the moth cave? I almost never go down there. That's where my butler Milford lives. And the Mothmobile in your garage? You don't drive that? Of course not! Don't be absurd! My butler Milfred chauffeurs me around. R right Well, what about your butler? You mean... Milfred? Terrible butler. Oh, he's Mothman. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, what about him? Okay, that's just weird. This sounds like Rugrats. Hello, neighbor. Come on in. You're just in time to join me for supper. I just baked this delicious okay. cobbler, but there's no one to eat it with. I know. Why don't we go to Puppet Town and invite all the neighbors? Puppet Town. Oh, they're puppets. They're small, but you're a giant. Everyone! Uh, run away! 
No one's home. The food's getting cold. Ah, ah, no! No! Uh, I've got you, mommy! Ah, 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 ah. Oh no. Now where on earth did everyone go? You're killing them. Uh It's a lonely day in this neighborhood. There's no one to eat my cobbler food. I guess I am alone. I am alone. Walk over to fake sign. Okay, that was kind of weird. And kind of dark too. Question for questions for money. All right, John, you're oh, doing great. Like, uh, you're looking at five hundred dollars right now. Let that sink in. <laughs> okay, now for all the marbles, which of these artists guest starred on the Ed Sullivan Show in 1958? Hmm. Now remember, you have still got three lifelines you can play. You can ask the audience, you can phone a friend, or conjure a spirit. Spirit. Spirit? Spirit, definitely. My, spirit. My grandma. Yeah, she used to watch that shit all the time. Let's get grandma on the line. Why is there a pentagram on the screen? Yes? Grandma, it's John. I've got a... Oh, Jonathan. It's so good to hear your voice. All right, focus, Grandma. Which one of these artists guest starred on The Ed Sullivan Show in... Oh, oh, I have so much to tell you. Have you had children? 1958, Grandma. God damn it. Do you want to know about the afterlife? Oh, Grandma, I want to know about the Ed Sullivan Show. Oh, Listen, crap. you old bat. I'm not old, I'm dead. You should probably think about wrapping it up. You shut up, too. I, 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 I need to tell you where the family gold is buried. Grandma, there's well, yes, family gold. $100 on the line. Roger Bruh, Williams. She's gonna tell you where the family gold is, right? It's gonna be more than 500. He's a man. He looked good in a hat. Enough about the hat, all right? Time is almost up. Grandma, Louis Armstrong, Judy Garland. E -e Everyone gets their own dimension. The Mormons were right. Ah, uh. oh, wasn't that a touching reunion? Well, John, what's it gonna be? Uh, ask the Whatever. audience. B, Elvis Presley, final answer. Oh, okay, that's it. Ooh, I, uh, I got some bad news for you, John. Uh, oh, damn it, Grandma, you cost me 500 fucking dollars! <laughs> Ow! Damn it, wow. Grandma! <laughs> taking your grandma's tombstone, bro? Over $500? She could gave me a family gold. But you choose the five hundred dollars. You're that. crazy, Doc. What you're talking about is impossible. This Jurassic, impossible. Jurassic World. Look closely. Jurassic this Park. mosquito was caught in tree sap a hundred million years ago, fossilized in amber. We simply dug these up, extracted prehistoric DNA from their blood, and after a little genetic engineering, voila! You, mean you really created. Yes. Are you dumb? Welcome to my life's work. Welcome. <laughs> to Big Ass Mosquito Park. Do it, do it. Get the mosquito spray. Oh. We've forgotten about your mosquito park stunt, Doc. Yeah, you're crazy if you think we're coming back here. Well, you already Big came back. Mosquito Park was a failure, I'll admit. But we went back to the drawing board and discovered something incredible. 
It turns out inside the prehistoric mosquitoes was actual dinosaur blood. Our top geneticist uh, simply dinosaur. filled the gaps in the dino DNA sequences with frog DNA, and voila! You dinosaur mean, frog. You really created. Welcome to regular ass dinosaur park. The regular ass. That is eggs. <laughs> we take that. We take it away by the mosquitoes. This dude's dumb. Blind dates. Where are you headed? Why is it? Why is a robot oh, yeah. driving you? I'd like to go that way, please. Okay. Why is there a wall there? Uh, yeah, no more shortcut. <laughs> That's fast. Sorry, I'm late. Uh, should we order some wine? <laughs> this guy's screwed. He enjoyed it. <laughs> Police officers. All right, boys. I'm stepping out to go to my anger management class. Why I want angry? everyone, everyone to behave themselves while I'm gone. He's going to fun too. I'm gonna see you join in. Is the meaning of this? <laughs> He's gonna join in, is he? <laughs> I knew it. It's a fake robbery. Oh. Wow. Bowling night. Yes. You call that a strike? Step aside. Make way for the bowling master. Me. Open your peepers, everybody. Check this out. He's gonna miss. Oh. Ha, easy. Isn't that heavy though? <laughs> now, watch and learn. Oh. What? Huh? His head is a bowling ball. Isn't he dead though? Stop that! Pinheads! <gasps> oh! Dang! Agent 7 Part 2. Somewhere. <laughs> so, are you ready to cooperate, Agent 7? Up to his face. <sighs> It'll take a lot more than tying me to a table to make me talk. You'd probably have to use that giant ceiling laser as well. <laughs> My plan exactly, Agent Seven. Oh, he's going for the nuts. 
Oh. Oh, no. Captain Cupcakes, no. Hold up. How can a cat give out that much blood? Like, that filled up the whole room. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh. Captain Cupcakes, no. Please, I am so sorry. That... He seemed like a good cat. I, no, is there anything no, I can do? You, no, you know what? No, you take all the time no. you need. I'm just gonna. I'll come back next week. We can do this whole thing again next week. Okay. Can you plan it? I'm really sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, the cat thought it was like a laser. Hey, Dad! Like I got you a new. <gasps> Dad, no! Daddy's coming home, Captain Cupcakes. Dad! Oh no no no! Half off Oscar, a half off Oscar's half off Emporium, where price is no issue, because I'll cut that price in half. Want an 80 inch television but can't deal with the price? I'll cut you a new deal, I'll cut it in half. This 40 inch still too expensive? We will smash to your knees. Bro, that's that's broken. TV right there. I'll take it. Can you cut a 10? Cut it? <laughs> cut it! <laughs> Still not convinced that my thing is that I like cutting things in half? My ex-wife tried to divorce me and take half my money. So I gave it to her, but I cut it in half. As God is my witness, you will pay the proportionate value of the half of the product you receive. And boy, do we have products. Nunchucks, guitars and glasses, king beds, queen beds, double beds, single beds, and that ain't the half of it. How about a basketball for the kids? Now you got bounce. How about your kids? Cut oh. in half. Oh, okay, okay, okay. As a uh, I, friend, I will cut okay, absolutely okay, okay. anything in half for absolutely any reason. I do not care. Adam Price is running you up the wall. He's even cutting it Adam. There is no limit to my power. I'll cut it in half. He bought everything half that He bought a half house. Think this commercial's too long? Cut it in half. Whoa. Okay, he's cut the whole universe in half. So, um, that was the video guy. That was, some of that was dark. Like, I'm not joking. Some of that was, like, really... Especially, I think the darkest one was, like, the, the scientist one. That one was just... Yeah. So, that was the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, bye, everyone.